right? So in order to put the drywall in between these studs, first I have to measure. So a typical tape measure, you measure, you measure this. It's about 14 and a quarter. Yeah, 14 and a quarter. It's really closer to 14 and a half, but you always want to go a little less than the actual measurement, otherwise you won't fit. So you have 14 and a quarter that I'm going to cut. So what I do is I grab my knife. Drywall T square here. So I need 14 and a quarter. So just pull this out a little bit. So I pull this out, and then I want to measure. So I put this to the end, and then I measure 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter right here. So I just mark it. Mark just under 14 and a quarter actually. I mark right there, like that. And I slide this over. So it aligns with the mark I made. And then the two will be cut from top to bottom, bottom to top. For me, my cuts are straighter when I do bottom to top. You know, I'm more of a curl guy than a tricep guy anyway. So just the knife in here. Straight up. Always watch your thumb, make sure you don't cut your thumb. Alright, so once I've cut that paper side, fold up the knife, bring it out here, put my foot in front of the piece, put my arm in front of the other one, I mark where the cut is made, and I give it a decent, I give it a nice little punch. That bends it. See? That bends it. That point. I grab the knife and then I cut. So just make a little incision here. And then like I said, bottom to top works better for me. So I start from the bottom, just cut along the seam that I just broke. Top. So this is the piece for here. What we're going to do now is fit it to make sure that it fits in the space that I just measured for. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to see. Make sure it fits up here. Yes, it does. Perfect. Perfect fit. So that's how you determine. And from this point, what we do is we put the green glue on. We put the green glue on and we put it on the wall. So rinse and repeat. And then we add the screws. Yep, add the screws and you're good to go. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. So first we have the two of green glue here. This is for uh, it's a soundproofing compound. So in order to install it, there's two things you have to do. First, you have to cut this sealant, this little seal right here. So you cut that with a box cutter or any knife that you have. So you have a, have a little hole there. And then next, each tube comes with something like this. So you just, so you take this, take your box cutter again, just cut the tip off like that. All right, so you have something like that. Then what you do is, what you do is you just screw this on You're welcome. You load this into your caulk gun, and it works with, with any caulk gun essentially. So place it, place it in the caulk gun. You load it the way you normally would load it. With this magic. All right, and you're now ready to use some green glue. So. I'll start with your strawberry.
All right, so how do we apply the green glue? Oops. Well, to apply the green glue, you have to do it in a semi-random pattern. Just an FYI, semi-random. So let me show you how, how you're supposed to do it. Okay, start here. Around, come down. You always want to get the perimeter. Alright, that's what I do. These are squiggly lines like this. Not squiggly lines, they look more like sine waves. Okay, then I do the inverse. I put the nose where the peaks are, I put the peaks where the nose are. These won't cover it, but you also want the regular gaps. So you don't want to lather the whole thing in it. And if you see any big gaps anywhere, kind of just kind of grab them. You don't want to use too much, otherwise the opposite of the desired effect will happen. There you are. Alright. Fill in any gaps. Okay. When you put this down, you want to put this down on something. So I'm going to put this on my trusty plastic bag. Over here, behind the camera. And then this is what you have. Now I'm getting ready to load it up. be helping my husband with the theater and I'm going to be applying some green glue here it's going to help prevent the sound from reaching upstairs so I don't have to complain about the noise downstairs in the theater <laughs> Indeed. so let's begin Any large gaps you see? A little bit right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Up here maybe? Yeah. Okay. Maybe in yeah. each one a little bit? No, no. Or down there is okay? Yeah, get that in right okay. there. Okay. Alright, that's good. Alright. Alright. And we're all done. Alright, so in this room, uh, one obstacle I have is that the rear wall is also shares a wall with the staircase. So what we're doing for to enhance the soundproofing is loading drywall with green glue. We're going to two layers up against this wall in between in, in between the studs, and then of course we're going to build a double wall and then triple layers of drywall and green glue. So you just uh, saw me put the green glue on. So I'm getting ready to load it up here. Top. Press it in. There go. Get a nice solid fit. All right, now that we're here, darling, would you mind passing my uh, my drill? Sure. Okay. okay. So when you have it up like this. Usually all you need is one screw to kind of get it settled. You may just want to switch it around a little bit left to right, you know, so the glue kind of settles in there. And there's some left to right movement. All right, so you roll up just one screw. Just place it in there. All right, that should be enough where you can actually let it go so you can load it with your other screws. So typically for some of this size, you want to use eight screws, four on each side. So you have one over there. I highly recommend 
uh, a screw gun with an impact driver. It's extremely fast and powerful. The torque is out of this world. It's not the most time consuming thing. Screw all this in at about a minute or so. So this sheet is good now. I'm gonna let this dry. I wanna do it because of the type of screws these are. I'm gonna let these dry. And I'm gonna take the screws out and I'm gonna put another layer on top of it with green glue in between it. So I'm gonna do the same thing below, here as well. And if you look, take a look at the whole wall. This side has already been done. We're working on this side now. And we're gonna do a close up. I'm gonna let you hear a sound difference. If you hear me rap on this right here, you can hear the resonance. You hear, I'm going to do the same thing here. It's decreased. Once again, hear the resonance. So you hear it. That's one, la one layer of drywall. We're going to have two here and three on the wall. So, and then plus a decoupled wall. All right, so. That's how you get the drywall between joists. So I'm gonna get a little further down because we were like about eight screws, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay. Right a little further to the left, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's in there. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe down here? Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm right about here, right? Is that good? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oops. It's all good. Alrighty. Excellent job, darling. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this wall is complete. Next up is that wall right there, and that's pretty much it, actually. Actually, for the walls, but then for the ceiling, we've already started doing the same in the ceiling because that's a critical. Um, part of the soundproofing as well. We're still going to do the triple drywall and the clips and channel um, But up here we're squeezing drywall and green glue up right there between the joists We're going to do a few layers of this You know every every layer that can stop sound from getting down here or upstairs is critical. Why? Because sound shallows very easily through wood and if you have hardwood floors, then you know exactly what I'm talking about sound travels extremely easily so one thing i want to point out before i go is um beware when you're putting this to the joist just be ready for you may have to improvise for certain things for instance this one right here as a sheet it wouldn't fit with that there so we had to separate into three sheets actually one sheet for that section and then one for above and one for below and then we'll have to do the same thing uh, when we put the second layer right on it Alrighty, so Hope you found this video helpful and see you next time.